concrete repair, how to restore old concrete driveways and walkways. A little knowledge, a lot of patience, and some cement and tools needed. Concrete driveway repair. Everything gets old. Concrete too. Signs of needed repair are cracks, potholes, and the appearance of stones used in the original mix. It's important to understand the concrete formula, which is sand, stones, Portland cement, and water, which after mixing properly, not too soupy, nor too dry, like a pudding or dough consistency, it is ready to be formed. Generally, it is then poured into a wooden form, and the mason begins the arduous task of leveling the concrete using a flat trowel with circular motion. The mason is not only leveling the concrete, but also vibrating it so that the stones go to the bottom, leaving a smooth, creamy, one or two inch layer at the top. In short, if you start to see stones appearing in your concrete driveway or sidewalks, it is because the smooth top layer has worn away, calling for replacement or repair. Problem areas such as cracks and potholes should be repaired first. The driveway in this video is about 60 years old, and thus there were many repair patches that stood out like sore thumbs. Hence. I decided on a complete resurfacing from top to bottom. Take your time. Rome wasn't built in the day, and neither was this driveway. This circular driveway was created by my father over a 10-year period, mixed by hand. It is a huge driveway, and like anything else, requires maintenance or upkeep. Start by repairing the worst areas first, potholes and cracks that hold water. That's bad. Water, especially in the winter, freezes and expands, thereby enlarging the cracks and holes. Like I said, I patched this driveway many times over the years and then decided on a top to bottom resurfacing. Here I begin cleaning out the holes and cracks, pick out all the loose material. I used a pointed trowel. Really give them a good scraping. Go as deep as you can, removing all the dirt, weeds, loose concrete, etc. Then give the cracks and holes a good sweeping. Three essential materials for this kind of work are 1. A cement topping mixture, cement and sand, no stones formulated for applying to or repairing old concrete. 2. A concrete bonding adhesive, glue, used to make new cement attached to old concrete. And 3. Water, a few 5 gallon pails to keep your tools wet so cement don't stick to them and to wet broom for the finish. Remember to read all instructions on the bag of cement and glue bottle. As for how much cement you'll need, try a few bags first and see how far it goes. Practice. With patch area clean, apply glue with a paintbrush. Remember to keep paintbrush in a can of water when not in use. Concrete bonding adhesive, concrete glue comes in a gallon plastic jug. It's white in color. Some concrete adhesives, glues, require drying time, tacky, and some require you to apply cement when wet. Be sure to read the glue instructions to determine if it is a wet or dry application. This was a wet type glue so I applied cement immediately while glue was still wet. Again, read the instructions on the glue container and make sure patch area is clean of all debris because you want good adhesion 
on new cement to old cement. For a dry type glue, wait for a sheen to appear before applying cement. All bonding glues have a milky white appearance when applied, and a sheen as they dry. Be generous with the glue applied, because this is a critical stage in the adhesion process. You want the new cement to adhere to the old concrete. Again, the cleaner the surface, the better the adhesion. And all oil stains must be scrubbed with a degreaser. Here I am, first applying the glue, fastidiously, making sure all is covered. I work small portions at a time. Note to my $5 knee pads, be kind to your knees, and gloves, be kind to your hands. The old timers would laugh, but I am just a helper, and can't afford knee replacements nor burn relief to my hands. Cement burns, be careful. Cement is a hot substance, full of heat, as it cures. Do not let it touch your skin too much. Clean it off when it does. It can burn your skin. That's why they spray water on it as it cures, so it does not get too hot. A slow cure is better. Some dams, like Hoover, were curing 50 years later. Here I place a few shovels full of mud cement. The slurp test is that it should leave the shovel with a plop and not run like soup. Continuously mix cement. I'm using a small plastic mixing trough placed inside a wheelbarrow. Keep it mixed. If it's stiff, splash some water on it. Work it. Mix it. And if it's too soupy, add some cement and sand until somewhat stiff, like pudding. Here I work the cement with a flat trowel, leveling by eye as best I can. Not worrying about any swirl lines, they will be removed with the final brooming. Long strokes with the trowel are the best strokes, and don't play with it, move it. Once it seems good, leave it alone. By the way, if you have no glue, then substitute water. Brush it on the old some concrete. It may work. Here, as you can see, I dip my trowel into that big bucket of water to keep it clean and, and it'll glide over the cement easier. And now you can just watch me as I work an edge. And I just continue. To be sure, the uh, cement gets stiffer in the nighttime the cooler air, so I must press on it harder and really work it, almost mixing it on top. So if that occurs, just keep moving it around, moving it, moving it, because like I said, the cement has heat, and once you start to move it, it warms up, and it becomes malleable and easier to work. The more you push it, the more you move it, the more you mix it, it gets warm and it moves and forms look at me poor banished child of Eve 
trying to restore the depth of this driveway, struggling in view of neighbors in the middle of the night. God have mercy on me. Long strokes, long strokes with the trowel, pressing down, leveling by eye, and now a close up. Here I press hard the stiff mix by cool night air and work it as it comes to life by its own heat. And now this portion gets the final touch, the wet broom, after allowing it to set up for a half hour or more. Make sure before wet brooming you allow the cement to stiffen for a half hour or more. Be patient. Here I dip the broom into the bucket of water to keep it clean and to keep going. I use long strokes. Be patient. And here is the finish from the inner garage to the end of the driveway where cement meets blacktop. And they marry well. And with some blacktop seal coat, I draw a straight line to complete. Now you know how to maintain your old concrete driveway and sidewalks.